Okay, hello and welcome to a Smurd P video. And today we are looking at Doctor Who 60th uh, Anniversary Still Book. Um, now, I'm sort of doing an unboxing, which I don't usually do, but I'm doing this. So I pre-ordered mine, luckily, from Amazon before everything went crazy and they all got sold out. Um, probably my mistake, because Amazon are not known for um, packaging very well for for a long time i i tend to avoid them in particular so i'm doing it from this side because i don't want to show you where i live in case you turn up and you know you could turn up and buy me some chocolates or something i think i'd like that but here we go here it is out of the packaging it is exactly as it looks in the actual pictures that we've seen already so i'm just going to use my trusty that's just my wife's tweezers just to gently nip that up a little bit so that I can unpeel all of this plastic. I, I was going to say goodness, but I probably shouldn't say goodness because it is not good for the environment. I have to apologize as well. If you hear lots of screaming, my kids are on holiday. So, yep, there's screaming there. <laughs> I'm not sure if you heard that, but um, yeah, there could be screaming. Or they're probably killing each other or something. But I'm not going to be the referee for at least 10 minutes because I am looking at this. I'm very excited to open this up. There we go. Right. So we will look more at the front in a minute once I take the J card off. But nice start to 6th anniversary specials. 12. It should be 12 and over to watch this, apparently. That's interesting. Um, I guess it's perhaps... A little bit scary. I don't think it's really scary. Then you got the Star Beast, Wild Blue Yonder, and the Giggle. In my mind, I feel like I, I wish David Tennant had a little bit more time. Um, and I think that's that's my biggest problem with this. It all felt rushed and not enough time to build up on what was already a good good founding relationship between him and Donna. They could have grown it, grown that again naturally rather than perhaps forced it as well. So includes bonus features. This stars so David Tennant, Catherine Tate, Neil Patrick Harris, Yasmin Finley, and that's it. So written by Russell T. Davis. Let me carefully take that out of there and wow. That looks beautiful. So we got the Meep. We've got... I've forgotten his name already. The Toy Maker. I literally forgot that. And then we've got the, the guy who the Meep was um, trying to escape in that first episode. Bear in mind, I, have, I only watched it once. That was it. Um, I will watch it again now that I've got this book. I love it. I love the beautiful magical colors around it. As always, these things look beautiful. And on the front, we've got the Doctor and Donna Noble and the Tardis in the background. Um, so the reason I was saying that I wish, and, and bear in mind, I, I tend not to do lots of videos on Doctor Who as, as a whole and about the characterisms and what they do in terms of that. I, you know, I've just finished season three of, um, of Doctor Who, you know, and it was so, the characters and, and the complexity of it was, and the story was spot on, whereas this felt rushed, you know, I, there, I, I was hoping that there was going to be a connection between the first, the second and the third, and why did he choose this face, did he, you know, it, and it sort of ended up, well, you chose it because, you're tired. <laughs> you know, that's what it felt like. I thought it would have been great if, if he chose that face because he was meant to come say goodbye to Wilford, you know, um, Bernard. And that was one hell of a shocker that Bernard was in that. That 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 was fantastic. I absolutely loved that moment. Um, I, I guess between that moment of filming and afterwards, he, he sadly, unfortunately passed. Um, may he rest in peace. Um, but I felt like that would have been a nice ending. Maybe that's what was originally intended. I don't know. We'll never know. But um, yeah, that's it. So the still book is fabulous on the front just as much as on the back. And then we open up. We got some merchandise in here, which rubbish, not even interested. 
And then we've got, let me just take off the discs. I'm gonna take these off. Oh, okay, it's just that. Okay, I was expecting maybe a little bit more. Maybe, maybe once we get the second and third one off like this, like so. Yeah, there we go, there we go. And there's David Tennant. Now, I've already seen that they've uh, announced a Blu-ray for the Doctor's Christmas special, which I, I think they could have easily have put in here. And it would have been, a, it felt like more of a, a, a presence in terms of this special edition. Um, in, but instead, I'm hoping that that will be in uh, the next season's box set, whatever that's going to be called. I don't know if they're calling it season one or season 14 or season 15 because this is considered 40 you know it will be interesting to see how that pans out so sorry i knocked my thing so on here we've got this very nice and this will probably be the artwork for everything else so disc free but it's nice that we've got this set very very quickly so they're really capitalizing on still books being quite popular and this like i said really really did sell out a lot quicker than expected we got the wild Blue Yonder, which I thought, wow, I absolutely, I absolutely, I really did enjoy that one. And then finally, the the one uh, which is the Star Beast, etc. So yeah, I mean, it was great to see Dave Tennant there, but I felt, you know, considering how amazing he is as an actor and how brilliant he was as, as the Doctor, I felt there could have been a little bit more, more of a connection between the the three of them, like. It was all led to this. I mean, maybe it was a toy maker that brought him back. Do you, do you know what I mean? It's like they slightly lost a little bit of imagination. That's how I'm going to say that. A little bit of imagination. Um, I think the other thing that I'm perhaps a little bit frustrated about is there is, there is no mention of what the special features are, which... Um, I find um, a little bit disappointing. There's no little card that, there's usually a little card that comes with this that tells us what the special features are, but there's nothing. Um, so I do find that a bit bizarre. Um, that's not there and um, I'm not sure how I find out. I know that it's, it's well advertised in the thing, but it's usually you get that on here as well. So, yeah, a little bit bizarre that they've gone down this route as well. So let's have a look at this with uh, some of my other um, still books that I have. Okay, this is the, probably the best way that I could put these all together. And bear in mind that I've not got every still book out there. I certainly don't have Series 9. Um, and because I bought the, recently the remastered blu-ray um set of duct who won to four in the specials i actually um haven't rushed to get those five bear in mind a couple of them are ridiculously hard to get still um but i still think like i've got a, a nice set of doctor who uh still books now um i don't think i'm going to be going out and getting any of the the anime ones i don't feel like they they really uh, appeal to me as much as the main series appeals to me even though they are meant to cater for missing missing episodes and stuff i feel like this is the way that i want to go and i feel like those animated ones i feel like i'm going to pick them up in the classics um box sets at some point but um it looks great to see it just like this you know series five six seven fiftieth anniversary specials number eight ten eleven twelve flux series 13 specials and then you've got this massive imposing Doctor Who the 60th anniversary so the spines are not consistent throughout this whole thing because what well, this was probably one of the oldest ones and then they used um the more recent logo on some of these releases etc and sometimes that's just the way it goes etc but um you know what it's still great to have these all together. I still think they look great. And if you go in Etsy, etc., you could probably buy um, spines from my understand, etc., which is great. So anyway, I hope you like my video, etc. Um, I may, um, I, I think I will try and do 
a specific video where I show the actual menus and those special effects and what's on what disc. I think I will do that. Um, I'm very interested to see if the Children in Need is on there. That that one shot with a uh, Davros, um, because I thought that was I actually really did enjoy that. I thought that was great, great fun. Um, so anyway, hope you like my video. If you do please support my channel by subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thank you to those already subscribed to my channel. Make sure you look after yourself. Very important these days. And as always, embrace geekiness. Take care. Goodbye.